You know, ever since this past May, uh, it seems like the liberals are trying to start a, another civil war. I, I do believe that's their end game here. I honestly do believe that's their end game. End game, sorry. But, uh, seeing uh, videos of, you know, Black Lives Matter supporters, Antifa members not wear masks and inciting violence and starting fires and vehicles and buildings and all that crap, blocking highways and, um, Throwing cheap shots, blindsiding people. When it comes to cheap shots on people, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get blindsided back. I'm one of those people who believes in karma, but you know, I'm gonna say it like it is. It. I'm bewildered. I'm I'm bewildered about something. I'm confused. Are liberals? I mean, I'm seeing a bunch of liberals talk about human rights and all that, uh, all that stuff. Yet they advocate for gun control, which is a, is a basic right here in the U.S. You have a right to to own guns. But they'd know nothing about the history regarding about uh, regarding uh, well anything about gun control and how the powers that be illegally took uh, firearms from people of color from way back in the day, and it makes no sense. So you're all for you're you're all for human rights, but also you're all for gun control, yet. You're out there peacefully protesting or rioting to end racism without coming up with a solution to end racism. And you know nothing about the history of gun control and how it was used against African Americans back then? Or Hispanics? Hispanic Americans? So... Since you're all for gun control, yet you fight against racism and all that crap, know nothing about the history that the gun control measures, get regulations, and gun control laws were used by the politicians way back when against people of color to illegally confiscate their farms. That makes you a racist. I mean... You all go around and say, "Oh well, you drive a four wheel four wheel drive truck. You're a racist. You are you're a gun owner. You're a racist. You flag, uh, uh, you wave around your Confederate and American flags on the back of your truck bed. You're a racist. And don't give me you know this stuff and I'm wrong and all that crap. You're wrong." If your if your end game is trying to start a civil war, well, I'm here to tell you, and here's a fair fair warning for a lot of you, a lot of liberals out there. There are some, there are a few liberals who's getting sick and tired of your BS, and they're gun owners too. But there's a lot of gun owners who out outnumber you. Who are gonna call to protect you? The police, we also outnumber the police too. Makes no sense to me that you, the liberals, whenever a mass shooting happens, you blame guns. Like some, you know, douchebag, crazy douchebag, shoots innocent people in municipal buildings, movie theaters, uh, schools, for no reason, and then... You just blame guns, but whenever it's a whenever it's a uh, whenever a cop kills someone, you blame the cop, whether it's justified or not. That makes no sense to me. I don't agree with this 
defund or disband the police bullcrap. However, I agree with two things when it comes to police reform. Getting rid of qualified immunity and, you know, getting rid of uh, no-knock uh, warrant raids. No-knock warrant raids is a good enough reason to get the police killed or the public killed. Or a member of the public. I mean, seeing what happened in Minneapolis, um, Phoenix, Kenosha, New York City, especially Seattle and Portland. Glad I don't live in those areas. It's it, it's apparent to me. Well, apparently, civil war may happen. I'm not saying it when a when or where it would start, but I don't want it to, you know, I don't want civil war whatsoever. I don't. Another thing too, a lot of you going around, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. A lot of you are bitching about the people going around, not wearing masks and Walmart, places like Walmart, uh, other stores and all that crap. When really I saw a lot of you in those videos and those peaceful protests and those riots a lot of you didn't wear masks you're a bunch of hypocrites I'm sorry but was the United States of America founded on the principle of well founded on the many principles of you know like for instance freedom of choice just like I had the freedom of choice not to wear a mask a lot of you didn't know that during the American Revolutionary War there was a there was an epidemic. Forgot what was going on, but they literally did not wear masks and fought the American Revolutionary War without masks during a uh, epidemic. Y'all want to have your problems with the police? Hey, that's fine. But don't go around cherry picking things like uh, gun, you know, gun ownership, and you trying to get repel the the Second Amendment and all that. I'm getting sick and tired of it, especially the hypocrisy going on from the left. Just know that if there is going to be a civil war, a lot of you. The left is outnumbered by gun owners, myself included. What happens if the police don't help you out? Hmm? You want to disband and defund the police, which makes no difference. I'd be the first one to say that I do have a problem with some police officers, but... I do understand that there's a need for law enforcement, but if you're going to go around and ask for the police help, like I've seen a bunch of videos of Antifa members and a bunch of people on the left saying, oh, I was, I was assaulted. No, you assaulted someone, you threw a cheap shot, you blindsided someone, and you got your ass kicked. You deserve to get your ass kicked. Hmm. This country is doomed. It really is. So this is the fair warning to the left, the liberals, the Antifa members, the Black Lives Matter supporters. Keep it up. Because it seems like that you want to incite, you know, start a civil war. I do believe that's your ending game here. That's your sole objective here. And I'd, I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head why you think rioting and all that kind of stuff, uh, throwing cheap shots, blindsiding people, uh, just starting fires and vehicles, burning down your communities and all that, blocking highways, is memorializing uh, 
Breonna Taylor and uh, George Floyd. I have I'm trying to wrap my head around that because what I see is a bunch of self entitled bunch of idiots looting stores, stealing things from stores that they didn't earn. You probably have no jobs. Well, guess what? I have no job either. But you don't see me going around riding and, uh, and all that crap, doing stupid crap like that. I'm not. I'm not out there. I don't want to put myself in that situation. Now, when it comes to Kyle, uh, whatever how you pronounce his uh, written house, whatever. Yeah, he's a 17 year old. Uh, teenager. However, I do believe the charge against him of in possession of a firearm as a minor may stick. But still, he still has the right to defend himself. And based on what I saw in the video, he w was well in the right to defend himself against a bunch of crazy people coming after him. Just like that guy in New, New, uh, New Mexico a few months ago. Defending himself. Now the couple and uh, that's, that's uh, I'm a little iffy on that. Even though they didn't fire the gun, their guns. But I'm a little iffy about the, the couple. But it comes down to one thing. The liberals, you all, you're all just going around trying to incite violence, trying to start a civil war. You know, that's your objective. That's your end game and going on here. Probably for, from the very beginning back in 2013 when Black Lives Matter was uh, created. We're in the middle of a pandemic. I'm seeing a lot of people get pissed off. Oh, well, you not wear a mask and all that kind of stuff. When I see none of you wear a mask. So, yeah. I had to talk about that.